man like is everything all right in the world like and this is probably old but imagine this happening to you like look it says viral plumber who plumber who drew, who um drew, dove dove inside sewer to fix pipe gets free jeans for a year i mean i guess that's a good thing free jeans for a year i i but i mean i wish they would under um they would explain like what that what that means like do you mean like every day free jeans do you mean like every week every month every two months every six months and again who's giving out this free jeans you know okay there's a photo of hard-working plumber who went above and beyond the call of duty to fix a broken pipe is going viral a homeowner i never heard about it by the way a homeowner snapped this shot of jimmy cox giving into muddy water to try and fix the the problem inside edition connected cox with mike Rowe of dirty jobs who commented who commended the plumber for his dedication to his dirty job jeez <laughs> your photo uh, la, 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 whatever i don't want to read it <laughs> it's gonna take too long okay <clears throat> Yeah, free jeans for a year seems stupid. Jeans just a while want to help him give him free gas for you. <laughs> yeah, true. Free gas for you would be nice though. In my opinion, he got he got a raise. That would yeah, getting a raise would be way better. Free jeans for you. Like the shirt was even what was her from the from the thumbnail. The shirt was even what looked worse than the jeans. Like what? <laughs> It's the photo that sums up the See, American the James isn't even man. doing too this much. This guy is so determined to fix a burst pipe, he dives into the muddy water head first. Cold, the homeowner was overwhelmed at the worker's dedication. When I walked back outside, the kid was in there. She had, <laughs> she had like two, from what I heard is that she sounded like she had like two different accents, American and plumber. When I walked back outside, the kid was in there. <laughs> like what? I had one question for the dedicated worker. Do you mind if I take your picture? Because my husband is never going to believe this. The photo has gone viral internationally. Daily Mail. Oh, of course I didn't see it. Beyond the call of duty. So who is the submerged worker who overnight? <laughs> Imagine. No, seriously. This picture out of context. This picture out of context will be so laughable. It was so laughable. It's like someone kicked him inside or someone made him slip. You would know that he was actually doing his job or actually trying to fix something. And again, how would he even know what to fix uh, while being in there? Is it like wearing goggles or something? It has become a global symbol of the American can-do spirit. American what? Ugh, please, enough with this American this, American that. If you're, if you're, if you want to do this, do this. Some plumbers, some hardworking plumbers don't have to do this. It really doesn't, this doesn't really matter. My job is a very, oh. very dirty job. Meet Jimmy Cox. Damn, I could I could imagine a guy getting sick like the next day, but same his whole beard and his whole face. I'm guessing he's strong where his, his, his white blood cells are so strong that he won't get sick and it's nothing. Like, I mean, I mean, a like, normal kid, if you do that, like playing in the mud, I mean, you know, kids don't even dive inside the mud. All they are doing is jumping at the mud. If they're jumping anymore, that would actually get them sick. Like, it's not gonna get them sick. Like, Fox. He works for a local water utility outside Fort Worth, Texas. You basically just hold your breath, and if uh, if stuff starts going up your nose, that's too bad. We put. That's too bad. Think about yourself. Jimmy, in contact. Put yourself before your job, honestly. Honestly. Act with another. Except if you are doing something that is mentally gonna hurt you and you know you need the money so bad so you just have to take it in and just do the job. <laughs> Your guy who knows all about dirty jobs. Tell me you've had a shower or two. It's Mr. Dirty Jobs himself, Mike Rowe, most recently host of CNN's Somebody's Gotta Do It. He's raising a toast to Jimmy. Damn. Tell me that was a water line, because if that was a sewage line, I'm going to have to buy you a whole case of beer. <laughs> yes, sir. This time it was a water line. It was a, uh, <laughs> it was a water line. I've, I've had to do that in sewer, so have uh, so a couple other guys I've worked with. 
it's never a fun experience, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. I hate that thing. I hate when people say that. Look, you gotta do what you gotta do. No, you're just justifying doing something dumb. Like, you're just justifying doing something dumb. I feel like this could have been avoided. Honestly, it could have done something else. And I, like, uh, honestly, like, I commend some, I'll commend someone for being a hard worker, but, like, you could do hard work to other means, you know? Other means. You could have thought about something else to get there instead of, like, putting yourself in this harm's way. So, like, oh, they not take you to, like, the hospital, then you cannot work. You cannot work. So, you're risking your work your body for this one moment like does that make any sense like i hate you gotta do what you gotta do actually you don't have to do what you gotta do like you don't have to you could do something else to make up for you know for the for the things that you lack instead of jumping diving inside like it's a pool or something like i i mean uh, i like a hard work but but Man, you don't do hard work and and hurt yourself in the process, honestly. And get this. In the photo, you'll notice Jimmy is wearing a pair of Wranglers. The jeans company is so impressed, they're sending him a year's... Oh, actually, I don't know if those are Wranglers. I don't know. Supply. A little bonus for a man who defines dedication... Hey, at least you can sell it. <laughs> ...on the job. Dedication on the job. That's the kind of picture that makes people want to say, Hey, Jimmy Cox, you're all right. Thank you, sir. It feels pretty crazy that uh, that many people are staring at a picture of my butt. Not good. Feels pretty crazy that you you look like a kid. Head first. Don't lie. Inside the mud. I hate, I hate feeling like a hater, man. I just don't like the idea of people like glorifying stupid shit even though it might have like helped you know i feel like they i mean that's not the first time that should have happened right but it doesn't mean that plumbers regularly just shove their head inside inside the mud just to fix a problem like that it really doesn't mean that but yeah now what uh, they are glorifying it like it's some kind of amazing thing like what <laughs> Oh my god. Well, it is what it is, man. Uh, yeah, till next video.